Hey everyone, in this video we are going to solve a question from IIT JAM 2020 and this question is from section C and it carries two marks and this question is from series. So we have given a series and we have to find the sum of this series and here we have to write the sum. So let's solve this question. Now here the general term is, so for that let us look at the series. This is 1 upon 2 times 2 square minus 1 plus 1 upon 3 times 3 square minus 1 plus 1 upon 4 times 4 square minus 1 and so on, right? So the general term is an is equal to, this is 1 upon n times n square minus 1 and this n runs from 2 to infinity, right? So we can write this series as series n runs from 2 to infinity. 1 upon n times n square minus 1 right and I am calling this as a n so a n is 1 upon n times n square minus 1 now we just have to take the partial fraction right because to find the sum yes this is nothing but limit of s n right where this s n is now this is sum of first n terms right and this n runs from 2 to infinity so it is a2 plus a3 and so on plus a n plus 1 right sum of first n terms of the series. So for this let us find what is a n in general right so for that we, ha we have to take the partial fraction of this. So for that we know that 1 upon n square this is equal equal to 1 upon n times n minus 1 times n plus 1 right because n square minus 1 is same as n minus 1 times n plus 1 so we can just take so you can apply a upon n plus b upon n minus 1 plus a upon n plus 1 formula and get the values of a b and c so this is your partial fraction but i have a nice trick so we can take this 1 by n common 1 upon n minus 1 times n plus 1 right and all of us know about the partial fraction of this bracket term right so this is 1 upon n minus 1 n plus 1 now adjust the sign so this is if you do just cross multiplication here then this will be n plus 1 minus n plus 1 right so in the numerator we have 2 so just adjust this coefficient so this is 1 by 2 1 by 2 right and so we have partial fraction for this now you can just take this 2 outside so this is 1 by 2 times this 1 upon n n minus 1 minus 1 upon n times n plus 1 right now again take the partial fraction of this so this is just equal to 1 upon 2 times now similarly by trial and error you just take partial fraction of this that is write this 1 upon n times n minus 1 now do just cross multiplication so it is n minus 1 minus n divided by n times n minus 1 right so in the numerator we have minus 1 so you just multiply by minus 1 right that means what we have minus 1 minus of minus that is plus right so this is just minus 1 by n plus 1 by n minus 1 now similarly for this we have 1 by n minus 1 by n plus 1 just do the cross multiplication so it is n plus 1 minus n divided by n times n plus 1 right so this is okay right in the numerator we have 1 so this becomes 1 by n minus 1 by n plus 1 right so we have this and now let us just simplify this so this is 1 by 2 times 1 by n minus 1 this minus 1 by n minus 1 by n so this is minus 2 by n minus of minus is plus 1 upon n plus 1 right so we have a n in general this is equal to 1 by 2 times 1 by n minus 1 minus 2 by n plus 1 by n plus 1 right now what is s n s n is a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus so on plus an plus 
a n plus 1 right so let's write few terms so this is equal to 1 by 2 times now when n is equal to 2 this is 1 upon 1 2 minus 1 is 1 minus 2 divided by 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 is 3 right I have taken this 1 by 2 common from all the terms then a 3 is put n is equal to 3 so here we have 3 minus 1 is 2 minus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 4 and so on right now here look at this denominator 1 2 3 then this starts from 2 3 4 and so on right so the next will be 3 4 5 and so on right so for time being I have written the terms so here sn is equal to 1 by 2 times all this right now let us cancel the terms so here let us look at the terms so 1 upon 1 2 upon 2 that is 1 right so this cancels then we have 1 by 3 then here we have 1 by 3 that is 2 times 1 by 3 and this is minus 2 times 1 by 3 so this cancels now again 1 by 4 1 by 4 and then minus 2 times 1 by 4 that is minus 2 by 4 then 1 by 5 1 by 5 minus 2 by 5 right then 1 by 6 1 by 6 minus 2 by 6 and now minus 2 by 7 and this cancels with this 1 by 7 and one more 1 by 7 right and so on right that means what the terms are getting cancelled right now let us look at the last terms so this cancels right and we have sn is just equal to 1 by 2 and in the bracket we have this 1 by 2 right and this last term so this is 1 by 2 plus 1 by n plus 2 and from here we have minus 1 upon n plus 1 now take the limit as n tends to infinity so we have this is equal to 1 by 2 times 1 by 2 plus 0 right so this is equal to 1 by 4 and this is equal to 0.25 this is our sum of the series that is s so this is the answer